Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I bless God for this opportunity to bring his word to you. Now, Jesus said, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. And his job when he comes is to guide us into all truth. And that's what he's doing with our lives. Now, you've got to believe that Jesus spoke the truth. Praise God. You know, that's why sometimes I pray. I say, Lord, you are here and your job is to guide me into all truth because Jesus said so. And I believe him. So I know one thing today, I'm not going to walk in a lie. Praise God. Yeah, because he is in me. Glory to God. Let's pray. Father, we bless you today. And we know for sure because of the presence of the Holy Spirit in us and even directing what we are doing right now, we will be guided into all truth. Thank you, Lord. I declare right now, burdens are being lifted Yokes are being destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there is anything right now that is making your mind unstable, listen to me. By the anointing of God's Spirit, let that body be taken away right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command that yoke to be destroyed because of the anointing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is happening right now. Thank you, Jesus. You will get a call that that thing has been taken care of. And that's because the anointing of God is present. God bless you. Praise God. All right. Now, yesterday I was telling you, you know, how, we're, we're talking about um, how to make withdrawals, you know, from your heavenly account, which is very, very important. And I was telling you yesterday how you pray. You've got to be specific in your prayer. Don't assume God has heard you because you said it in your heart. The things of faith requires you speaking. Praise God. You must speak. And you must be sure. See, when you pray, because, you see, your heart must go with your words. You know, sometimes, I, I, you know, personally, I, you know, many things I've, I've seen work. And then if you're a person of faith, you, you have the same testimony. I, sometimes something that happened maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I can tell you the exact spot where I prayed the prayer. Praise God. I can tell you the exact spot where the word of the Lord came to me. You know, I can tell you, you know, everything about our lives, everything about me, I can point to the word of God that came to it. I can point to the place I prayed and the time I prayed. You don't forget those things. Why? Because your spirit was, was, was in it. He didn't just say something out of the spur of the moment. You were deliberate about it. So whenever you think about it, the whole environment of when that is like the sin replays in your mind. Now that's because you did that thing in truth. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's in truth, and that's what truth is. You cannot cover up truth. No matter how much you cover it, it will still come out. Praise God. Because it's truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, be, 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 be definite about your prayer. I always say this. We may spend hours, days, weeks preparing to pray a prayer that will last for maybe 20 seconds. So, what do you mean by that? Yeah. Why? Because, you see, the preparation is asking the Lord, Lord, what's your, what's your mind concerning this? It's, it's a form of prayer also. So, so, so listen now. What I'm sharing with you is very important. I want to pray for a car. I'm using physical things because these are things you deal with. So I'm not saying I want to pray that God should make me more holy or God should make me more righteous. Now listen, just listen to me. So you want to, you want to pray for a car. You know, sometimes you say, I'm believing God for a car. All right, so what do you do? All right, I, I want a car. The first thing you must learn to do is this. Know the mind of God where that car is concerned in that season of your life. See, 
So you begin to ask the mind of God concerning. Say, Lord, what's on your mind concerning? I, I, I feel I need a car right now. But I want to know what's on your mind concerning this. What's on your mind? Now you can pray that for weeks. I'm telling you the truth. You can pray that for weeks. So what do you mean pray that for weeks? No, shakalaba. Oh Lord, what's on your mind? Rakaba. No, a simple question. Lord, I am believing because I, I, I need to change my car or I need to start driving. So Lord, I want to know what's on your mind concerning me. I'll tell you how this works. And you, you keep meditating on that Meditating, now when I mean meditating, on, I know that everywhere you're going, every second of the day, oh God, no, 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 that's not, no. anytime it crosses your mind, you, you say, Lord, you, you've not said anything yet concerning the car. I'll tell you what will happen. One day, in the midst of that prayer, now, it, it might take one day, it might even take one second after you pray, it might take weeks. See, that's why the Bible says you have need of patience. What is patience? The patience there is not talking about the length of time you wait. Patience there is talking about the peace that you keep your heart on, knowing God will respond. That is what patience is. So it's not when you tell someone, have patience. You know what? They are thinking, hey, so man, that means this is going to take long. No! When they tell you, have patience, what's it say? Relax. The thing will be done. It might be done the next second. It might be done the next year. But guess what? It will surely be done and you don't have anything to do about it again. That's the truth. So when, 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 when I say, be patient, don't start thinking of the length of time. Just relax your mind you have done what you're supposed to do, right? Which is ask. So you have asked God for his mind. And he's surely going to tell you. So what's going to happen? It depends. Now it depends on how God ministers to you. Now, but then God, God, God is at liberty to minister to you in any way. It can be true prophecy from another person. Someone can just walk up to you and say, Hey, you know, I remember one time, I, um, a, a friend of mine, you know, and, you know then they were, they were, they were, they were the ones covering um, my videos, you know. So he came over to the house. And when he came, came over to the moment I saw him, I said, hey, I saw you driving a black Mercedes Benz. And then he looked at his people that he came with and they started laughing. And like, I'm like, what's going on? He said, yes, that he's been trying to decide which car to buy, you know, and then he wants a Mercedes Benz, but everybody's saying, you know, blah, 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 blah. I say, yeah, I saw you driving a Mercedes Benz. So that was the confirmation he needed. See? And then he, he went ahead and got the car. Praise God. You understand what I'm saying? So you are asking the Lord, okay, Lord, which way should I go? Now, what happened to him? An external prophecy came. And that was it. Now, I didn't know he was asking or trying to get to know which car you, you get what i'm saying now but see that's how the lord works you are asking him a question he will answer you so the moment i said that to him i saw you driving a mercedes benz he said oh that means that is it it, it was settled so the same thing see i remember several years ago my wife and i were praying because because it was time for our first daughter to start school and we wanted to know god's mind and we were open, so we went before the Lord and said, Lord, you know what, we are very open to you. Because now, my wife used to be a teacher, so i like, we're ready. If you want us to homeschool our children, we're ready. If you want us to send them to school, we are ready. Just let us know what your mind is. And, and we, we held hands together. Now, we deliberately held hands together and we prayed like that. We said, Lord, we want to know your mind. Because it's what you tell us to do that we will do. So if you, want us to, if you want our children to go to school, this is the first one now. So we want to know the school that you have ordained for them to go. And so we prayed like that, held, holding hands, and then just a simple prayer. And then that was it. We went about our normal duties, you know. A few days after we prayed that prayer, you know, someone calls my wife and said, hey, it's, it's not time for, when is Zuriel starting school? Is she not two yet? So yeah, she's starting school this this uh, this this year, you know, this September. 
I'm like, okay, so which school are you taking her to? And the person said, look, 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 don't take her to any other school. You better, there's this school, you know, and, and she just went on going about the school, going about the school, going about the school. And my wife was just laughing. And, you know, she finished. So when I got back home, she was like, guess what? I said, what? The social person called me. I was just hammering how we should bring Zuriel to this particular school, you know. So when she was talking to me, I said, I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember, we asked the Lord for direction. Uh, this is it. And he said, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I said, yeah, this is it. So, so what do we do? Did she tell you where the school was? I said, yes. I said, you know what? Since this is the only direction that has come so far regarding school that we ask the Lord for, let's go check this school. When we get there, we are spirit beings. When we get there, if it is the school God has ordained, our hearts will be locked up to it. I said, okay. So we drove down to the place. And the moment I stepped into the school compound, I knew. You know, I felt at home. If you've experienced that, you will know what I'm talking about. I, I felt, you know, I'll tell you exactly how I felt. I felt like I owned this place. <laughs> you understand? So I, I kept quiet. So we finished discussing and going around and it took us around. So when we came back into the car, I asked my wife, I said, what do you think? She said, this is the school. I said, yes, I'm in agreement. See? Now, what happened? It was an external support you understand so god used that lady to give us the direction that we are seeking his mind for praise god so you know different things like that you see now that's god using an external means now there are some other ways god can speak to you he can lead you you can be praying to god for a car for example and then you you're driving one day and and suddenly maybe your your car got stuck somewhere and you're trying to look at what's going on, trying to fix the car. And then somehow you just look around and, hey, there's a car shop here. Or there's, there's a car on display there or something. And then you just look at it and then your heart can not leave that car. See? Because you're just like, whoa, as in, what's going on here? I remember my wife and I were believing God for a new car. So we... So my wife goes, so which car do we want? I'm like, I, I really don't know yet, you know. I, I, I let some, there are certain things I let God choose for me. Because I don't have time to start cracking my head. And no, no, no. I know his choice will always be the best. So, you know, I, one, one time, you know, wanted to go on a trip. And the car we was in then, you know, couldn't go with us. So someone had to give us um, her car to go with. And while we're driving that car, going on that trip, something dawned on me. And I said to my wife, I said, I think I know the kind of car we need. I said, OK, what kind of car? I said, see how big this car is? Say, yes, it has three, um, three seats, you know. She said, yeah. I said, see how every one of us are comfortable in this car? Any car we are believing God for, this one must add that it has to be three seats. I said, yeah. Okay. So, now that's, that was settled. Now, a few weeks down the line, I got, you know, I, I, the Lord commanded me to go somewhere. I went there and then God gave us a car. God spoke to someone to sow a car into our lives. And I asked, I so, said, okay, what kind of car is this person told me? I went on the internet and I checked the brand and I saw that it had three seats. And I, I called my wife and said, God has answered us. Praise God. Now, you see, now, we didn't hear a voice. We were just driving, and then it just hit me that whatever you're looking for has to be this big. You understand? Now, there are times God will be specific about what you should ask for. I have been in a situation where I pray, okay, I say, Lord, give me. I say, no, no. The Holy Spirit corrected me and gave me the very words to pray. Now, why did that, all these things happen? Because I was seeking his mind. Whatever it is, it might be a relationship. You're believing God for a wife. You're believing God for a husband. You know, first of all, Lord, I want to know what your mind is concerning this area of my life. I want to know. Now, the moment his word comes to you, you see, because that is what must come first. His word must come to you first. If the word hasn't come, relax. 
Make sure you have asked. Make sure you have requested that wisdom. According to James 1.5, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask. You need wisdom right now. That's what you need. I don't know why the time these days is too short. Praise God. Because my time is up. And I've not even gotten into what I wanted to tell you. You know what? I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.